This show is wild, bro. Absolutely wild. I'm not on that it's word it's something it's I can throw. Oh my god, what? He needs to get. Hey, check out our Patreon in the link below. You'll have access to uncut and upcoming reactions, skits, behind the scenes footage, and so much more. Your support goes a long way to helping us with more reactions and original content. Also, thanks for subbing. Set, Set the, the bell, bell for notifications. notifications. Your boy Rock Lee. Yo, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do so. No game, no life. Reaction starting now. All right, guys, what is going on? It's your boy Rock Lee. You're nasty. Quick recap. Because the last two, no game, no life, so I was out of it. This time, I got a no, recap. Seriously, please save me. <laughs> All right, so the recap is uh, that. Sora figured out that the war beasts don't actually read minds. Yes, correct. They can use their senses to basically determine if you're telling the truth or not. Yep. They were leveraging that ability to give you the impression that they could read minds. Yeah. Um, that was interesting because in the, in the last reaction, right in the beginning, I was like, I understand how the king is able to write things down eight times or seven times because he played eight times. So. Mm -hmm. Seven times he's writing information down, coming back to the war beast, and they didn't know that he could read minds. That he could write what they're saying. Yeah, that he could so write what they're saying. So that means they couldn't read minds, right. correct. Right, Um So anyways, now we've got the mind blown information that, yeah, they've just been faking it. So now, at this point, when we were finally caught up, like, okay, okay, this is making sense. Now we just took this turn that I think from the moment they showed up, they were, he kept saying, this, like, the, has the game already started? Has the yeah. game already started? It already started or something like that. We don't know if they're in a game. Like, they were, they were talking about, like, oh, console games. Oh, man, yeah. We don't know if the conversation took place in, like... That's, and that's where I was getting at at the end, where I was saying, oh, the game, are they in a game? Like, because they do this thing where, like, they don't give us a frame of reference, as far as we know, the game is literally already started, or I think maybe so. not. There was some flickering but like going the flickering, on. yeah, the flickering was a telltale sign of something else is going on. Not like I, I'm not even quite sure. I, I really don't even know. Microscopic enough of an idea of what happened. I think what's this, is, this is a series where when you're watching it, this is being pieced together by Sora. Yeah. You know. Sora's so gonna tell the story. After, yeah, yeah, yeah. After a bunch of cool stuff happens, Sora's so gonna catch you up, and then you're like, oh my god! I'm ready for it. Yep. It's kind of like Food Wars, you're making the food, and you're like, oh, what's this all coming into? They're talking about the little recipes, how this came from this country, why this is, why you specifically use this kind of root, not that kind of root. Then they take the bite, and it's, oh! Uh. Yeah, we're just trying to get to that. Um, so, uh,. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. A full reaction, full discussion will be on our Patreon. We're gonna jump into this reaction. Also turn on the bell for notifications. We do post content daily. Uh, let's get into no game, no life starting now. Reunited? Blank. There is the word blank. That's where blank is coming from. They gave each other life with their eyes. Did he lose? No, 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 that one makes sense. It's all part of his plan, whatever is going on. Must have been a dream. He knew this was gonna happen. He said, I believe in you. He wrote something in the book. The la He had to get information. He did. That's what I'm saying, he must have lost something. Wow, like the whole past is rewritten. This is more than memories.
Yeah. Oh, they already figured it out that something has happened. Blank, don't lose. The other question is, why does she even have the memory still? And he built her up that she was special in the previous episode. Mm -hmm. Even smarter than him. Yeah. Blank, don't lose! This is you think they're in a, you think they're in a game still? Yes. This is the game. Yes, cause in that game they're playing oh gosh. I think you're right. Oh Dola Chan believes. Yeah. Wait, she said you too, as if she remembers. Yeah. Yeah. They did miss a day. I remember in the handheld game, it said 19. She's testing the effect on her. Oh, okay. That means he left something for her. This is wild, right? Mm-hmm. What did that statement mean? She's doing what we were trying to do for like the last episode and a half. She literally is. How the heck does she know that? Oh, she's guessing. She's theorizing as she's going. Yeah. This is what 
what we knew. What? He, okay. They were sitting in the donor room. He said, I've been waiting for you to walk in. What took you so long? And a game was played right there. Yes. That's what it is. I was, we were right. They definitely started the game. He needs someone who can read minds. Yeah. <laughs> he needs the elf, I think, for the war beast. Maybe. For his bumpkins. <laughs> Oh my god. Did you see her face? Yeah, I do. She does not like them. Those bumpkins. What if it was neither? Oh. The game is still going. She didn't chip over nothing. The two of us are gone. I'm participating in this game. There it is. That's why she still has her memories. Jeez. Wild! She can't see the board. Oh my god, this is about to be the twist of the century. This is literally what's going on in the other dimension. This is funny. They're the three. This show is wild, bro. Absolutely wild. I'm not well, on that word a, something I can throw. It took a long I'm time not... for this payoff, but like. My I God, say, what? He needs to get the other one on his side, he needs the elf. So he has to give up his memories to them. What? It's gonna be epic! Yo! <laughs> Son! This was wild! Look! Absolutely nuts! Jeez. Bruh! What? I am thrown. There he is. Now he has an elf. Now Karami has... Look at this 
smile. Wild. Look at this whole vibe change. Yeah, even I'm like, this dude is amazing. They can't be without each other. <laughs> Both of them. Both of them. Oh, right. wild! Oh, bro, the payoff! They're like, yo, we got an elf, we got magic now. Look at what he's building. This harm. He has a genius little sister. He has Stephanie Dola, who's an oh, excellent who's manager. Adopted. Huh? She's not adopted. What do you mean she's not adopted? His sister's not adopted. Yeah, I think. Uh, when they said reunited, I was like, yeah. what's that? But she said, with a lady that looks like my mom. I don't know. I'm, I'm, if they left it ambiguous enough. I don't even care. That's not the point. Okay. Look at the harm he's building. A harm of power. He has an elf that has magic. He has one humanity that is oh that already has a lot of information he could use that he just not brought on his side. He has Stephanie Dola, whose management, just general day-to-day -day -day operations. She is a genius, A genius little sister. And then it's just him that's like out thinking the heck out of everybody. Which only means he wants the granddaughter of the war beast when he goes back. I figured out a little theory, by the way, that I cannot prove. What? From the last episode, I think it was, right? No, okay. two episodes back. Remember how Stephanie and the Fugle were having their little scene and were like about to get excited and then the sister jumped up and were like, nah, okay? Yeah. I believe that that's intentional because every time uh, Sora is about to get excited for something, the sister cock -blocks. Yeah. The sister clock, cock box both him and, and the us. viewer. Yeah. I think that's intentional. The like, running joke. Yeah. I just thought about it. I was like, yo, she cock blocks everybody. Oh, look, it's a random Nami. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nami is my back, one of my background pictures. It was going to be like, why would you say random Nami? But you called it mid reaction. The game. I was wrong, even though you thought I was right. I thought the game started like way back. When oh, when he saw him in the window, right? Yeah, that's why I was like, that doesn't yeah. make sense. But you caught it when he said the comment, I've been waiting for you yeah. in the throne room. But it was just like, whoa. Yeah, I didn't catch it halfway through. It was when she said, today's the 21st. She's like, we missed the day. I'm like, yo, it was the 19th on the handheld. The guy walked into the throne room. I knew it from the other one. It's just, oh man. And I just didn't, I just made the connection, man. I didn't make the I, connection. I knew the game started. I just didn't know when, when who the true. opponent was. Yeah, who, that's what was important. We didn't know who the opponent was. I had said, I'm like, oh, cause like, oh man, I'm so mad at myself. I did say, I'm like, oh, the person he's waiting for walked in. Like, who is it? I'm like, you don't know? I knew it was Kuromai. How'd I you knew know? it wasn't them. If he wanted to challenge them, he would just challenge them on site. He got the, he, they were shook enough that I knew it wasn't them that was coming to fight. I knew, I was like, I'm like, who could he possibly be waiting for to, that would come beef with him, that will take him a week because of the things he just did. It would have to be Kiromai coming saying, you've gone too far, you put everybody's lives at risk, I gotta beat you and be king so I can put this to a stop. Oh, you think he knew by doing that, that he would, he would get yeah, the beef. Yeah, he would, yeah, he would get and the he beef. Could, and he'd get the elf. Yeah, I don't. I didn't know about the elf part. I didn't know about that part. But I knew. No, you wanted the elf. Right? I, oh, two things. No, the elf. The elf. He wanted. The elf. He, we know he wanted the elf. But in my mind, I was like, I just thought he was waiting. He while he was waiting for the Beastmaster to send him the game invite, that this girl's gonna come back. No, if anybody's gonna challenge the Beastmaster, it's gonna be me. So I gotta take you out. So that's why when he's like, ah, I've been waiting for you to show up. I know you're talking about Karai, but the part they didn't show us is the walk-in. 
was when the game started. That's when the mummers, the memories instantly started yes. to alter. The yes. moment, the moment he said that, yes. that's where the reset in the game starting would be. Yes. He gets up, he walks, he walks away, and the episode ends. If she didn't figure this out, I think they would have been trapped too, though. Yeah, they would have been trapped. But that's why I was apart. He said for him to say, "I believe in you, I trust you," and before he disappeared. Wow. Wild man, absolutely wild. Well, anyways, man, thanks for riding with us on our roller coaster ride of confusion with no game, no life, guys. If not subscribed, go ahead and do so. Full reaction, full discussion will be on our Patreon. Also, hit the bell for notifications. We do post content thoroughly. Anyways, I'm your boy Rockley. I'm Dark Nasty. Ow. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna laugh. Okay. If you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell for notifications, and check out our Patreon for full and upcoming reactions. What? <laughs>